Okay, so this is the, um, third, I mean, second to last video in the series that I'm doing, uh, Puzzle Hardware. And this one is about timers, and then the next one will be about stickers, will come out in about five days or so, because I'll be in California, and it's, I'm gonna wait until I do the sticker one because it's cute that I'm one sticker I wanna wait until a certain time to re-sticker it and stuff. So in this one I'm gonna be talking about timers and one of the main timers that speed cubers use are these speed stack timers. Now these are pretty easy to find. Just go to your, um, just go online, try to find them. They also have this style with the, this data port. Which, with that, you can hook it up to a computer. Um, and then use a certain timer. Um, called CCT timer where you, it can like basically what it does is like is once you have it on it's like actually displaying both on here and on the monitor of the computer so it's like let's say you're doing like a certain solve, certain solves, and you want to actually save the time, like come back to it later, know what time you got, actually. And with that, you can do it easily with computer, but like with this, it's like reset and you may have forgotten it, so on and so forth. Yeah. With these, are pretty easy to understand. Some of the regulations you need to know would be like, when you actually stop the timer, it's like, let's say you are doing a solve and you stop the timer, and the cube ends up like this. And if you have a dying cube or any cube, with split edges or where the edges have this line that goes down like that unlike some of these older cubes which don't have them which like if you have it stopped like this then it would be considered a plus two which that would mean it would be add two seconds to your time so like let's say you get like um twenty seconds and you stop when you stop timer it's twenty seconds and you got this, it would count as twenty two seconds so but if you get if you stop with your puzzle like this, then that would be counted as DNF or when you have this. Um which would count as DNF. But, like, let's say you stopped your timer and that happened. That's not counted as a penalty because, one, none of the layers are turned. And even with the center cap off, you can still figure out which side is what color. Now, if you have, like, an older puzzle that has an edge, like, a cap that's part of an edge or a corner, or, yeah, like, edge or corner, and they come off, something like this, they come off during a solve, then it would still count as... That's all. Because 
one it you know what what side that was and it's like only one but like if you have multiple comes off then I don't know about that and then like the rules are a little bit different for um other cubes like four by four and up but like if you stop with your uh, timer and you have your middle layer turned like this it's counted as DNF and yeah and sometimes you may not even want to have one of these speed stack timers um they there's speed stack timers that come in these styles and then there's another newer type one where like instead of having it like this you have like these things that go onto a mat which would be a speed stack mat would look like this where you hook up your timer up here and and you use, use that but like yeah and the newer one have like these holes on the bottom down here where you can um actually slide the timer into those holes and those or like that instead of using these old style magnets and holes and bumps to hook on to the mat. And there's also speed stack mat QJ timer, which is like a cloned um, speed stack mat. And then there's man, speed stack timer. And there's a newer type of, um, well, there, this one has been out. For a while which is like a timer that looks a lot like this where it's essentially like a big round thing where you can tap it to make it go which originally it's designed speed stack timers were originally designed for cup stacking which is like, stacking cups as fast as you can. That the cups look um, similar to this. Yeah. I like speed stacking, but the only problem is I don't really have a good enough table to speed stack with. And if you don't have um, speed stack timers, or if you don't want a speed stack timer, you can always get like your iPod, iPhone, iPad, Android, or something use timers there. And then there's a bunch of timers for the iPod and the Android phones. And then there's this timer, which is Chaos Timer, which I have a review on it on of this timer on my second channel go check the review out on it there's a bunch of other timers like Cooper um I timer and then some others basically yeah with some of these they come with like a generated scramble um something like this as you see on top which that is like tells you how to scramble your cube to time it. Now I noticed some timers have these um, scrambles, but they're not really the best. Yeah, and then there's also some timers that are like found online. Or like ones that you can download onto your computer. And stuff like that. And if you have a speed stack timer. 
you can also get like a mini um, stack stack map pod, like stack pod, which plugs into the data port right here, and it's really interesting. And then there's like a bigger um, display timer, which you can get for home, but it costs like a hundred dollars, which it's not really for most budgets, and you most likely want the mini pod. Yeah. And then, if you got a stack mat timer, and you have a stack mat, there's like three different options that you can do. There's like the regular size stack mat, and then there's the mini pad, which is like, basically, like, here's the timer over here, and it goes about up to maybe about this far away from the end of the timer, and then goes up to maybe about pretty far. So it's like a decent mini stack mat timer that covers up less area space. And then there's the third option, which is a lot easier and cheaper to make. Well, cheaper to get, which is essentially a homemade stack mat, which essentially is made out of a mouse pad, like what I have here. Now I have a tutorial on how to make this, so check it out. And there, bam. So. Let me just solve this for you all, and show you all. So basically once you... There's also another rule with timing. Which is, like, you have about 15 seconds to inspect. Which that tells you, like, well it... Like, uh, you inspect your cube, take a look at it see what cases are there and like how you can figure out how to solve it and besides this was the cube that I used in the last video in this series uh, yeah I used to tension this cube So, you see, right there, I got it turned like this. It's not really at the 45 degree mark, so it's not counted as plus 2. And I got 34.36, which is a good solve, which is like one of the better solves that I get. Yeah. And basically, you can choose your sources and stuff, but the only major down flaw of these feed stack timers is that A1, they're um, pretty, they're like sort of big. Yeah, it's not, not that easy to carry around. Two, they don't have like generated scrambles for your puzzles. Which some people like that, some people don't. And then third is like battery issue. Like on both of my timers, I've had to replace them twice. And this one, um, I had a lot longer than this one. About a year. This one, I've had a year more than this one. And this one, I had to change battery twice. 
and when the battery died on the first time, I don't remember. But the second time, the display right here got so dim, like when I started timing it, it was like very dim, where like at certain angles, you could barely see it, and other angles, not. And then, these lights actually work really well. Like when you're starting to start us all on these speed stack timers, you have to wait. You have to put your hand down on both of them. And then wait until the green light comes on. Once the green light comes on, you start the timer. And then once it's done, stop. And then you have to press the reset button to actually start it again. And then both times when this um, timer had dead battery, it was like glitchy. It was like, it worked perfectly, but like, once I started, it was like, after like, um, several points of a second, um, it would just automatically stop. It was like, I had it going, like, I would have it going, like, this, and then once go, it stopped immediately. And it's like, ugh, hated that. Yeah, this one I bought used. This one I bought fresh brand new. Um, yeah, you can buy these sets, buy these timers, like, in several different ways. Like, you can buy them as single, um, the single timer itself, or like, a timer and a mat, or like, a set with timer, mat, and speed stack cups, and sometimes when you get your timer, you can get something like these speed stack bags, which essentially can hold the mat and your timer, so you can carry it around. And, yeah. This is what you would do when you're, like, thinking about, um, speed solving the puzzle. Like, you followed the previous videos in this series of making your cube better and picking a cube. And this part is when you actually know how to solve it, but you're, like, thinking about, you know what? I want to try this all with, um with timing like fast as I can. So yeah.